What's, What's up, Bulldogs? Fiji Boy Ben, that's the morning. See you soon. All right, we got a boys basketball meeting today during focus. Final exams this year are on May 28th, 29th, and 30th. And if you want to qualify for the two hour early release on May 29th and May 30th, you have to have no Fs in any class for the fourth quarter by the end of school, May 20th, no exceptions. Today, we have some big birthdays. I haven't had some nice just birthdays for anyone, really. I, don't, I, haven't, I, don't, I haven't been here, so uh, I don't know if anybody's had their birthday recently. But, Kevin McCarroll and DJ Stringfield DJ. are both aging up. They're leveling up in life. They're, they're a year older. You know, congratulations. What's up, Bulldogs? It's Logan with Jacob. And we got your weather. So today we got a high of 72 and a low of 60 and a 100% chance of rain today. And it's currently 64 degrees and it is raining. Um, and then for your weekend weather, uh, tomorrow, Saturday, got a low of 57, a high of 80. It's going to be partly cloudy. And on Sunday, it's going to be sunny, a low of 58, and a high of 84. So that's your weather, Bulldogs. We'll see you next week. Have a good day. What's up, Bulldogs? It's your daily sports report. I'm Charlie. I'm Titus. I got your one NBA score from yesterday. The Timberwolves beat the Nuggets 115-70. to That series is tied 3-3. to all right, the district track meet is tomorrow at Piqua, starting at 1 o'clock. That's your daily sports for today, Bulldogs. Have a good day. What is up, Bulldogs? Today, we're doing our word of the day. Today's word of the day is hoplology. Carson's going to tell you what it means. It's the study of weapons. So, if I were to use it in a sentence, I would say, myself, I'm very interested in hoplology. The study of weapons. I'm, I'm studying like a, a spear right now that the uh, Native Americans actually made. Have a great day. What's up, Bulldogs? I'm Devin with This Day in History. In 1756, England declares war on France, officially entering the Seven Years' War. In 1953, Brown v. Board of Education is decided, stating that uh, segregation in schools is not constitutional. And in 1973, uh, the televised Watergate hearings begin. Have a good day. What's up, Bulldog Nation? Friday trivia. I decided to do it today. I'm doing number one things in America. Number one things in America. This week. Or this year. Okay, number one. What is the number one country song in America? Number one country song in America? Number two. These are by Billboard, by the way. Uh, Billboard Hot 100, what is the number one Hot 100 song, pop song uh, in America? Number three, off the rock chart, number one rock song in America. Number four, what is the number one movie in America this week? Number one movie. Number five, and that's theaters. Number five is what's the number one movie on Netflix right now? I just checked. Number one movie on Netflix. Number six, what is the number one soft drink in America? What is the most consumed soft drink in America? Number seven, what's the number one fast food restaurant in America? Number eight, number one ice cream flavor in America? Number nine, what is the number one cereal? What is the most sold cereal in America? And then finally, what is the most downloaded app in 2024? What's the most downloaded app in America? So there's your 10 number ones for the US. Here's your answers. Number one, number one country song is A Bar Song by Tipsy. Number one Hot 100 song is Not Like Us, Kendrick Lamar. Number one rock song is Too Sweet by Hozier. Number four, number one movie in America, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. I'd kind of like to see that maybe. 
Uh, number one Netflix movie is, I've never heard of it, but Mother of the Bride, so it must just came out. Mother of the Bride, number one on Netflix. Number one soft drink in America, Coca-Cola. And in the world, by the way. Uh, number one fast food restaurant in America, you probably got this. It is McDonald's. Uh, number one ice cream flavor, vanilla. It's my favorite. Uh, number one cereal in America. And it's not Cinnamon Toast Crunch, it is Cheerios. Cheerios is the most sold. And then the number one downloaded app is Facebook and Instagram. Because Facebook owns Instagram. So Facebook, Instagram is the number one app in America. So there you go. Those are your ten number ones in the United States today. Everybody have a great weekend.